I got Mia a new rug for her nursery because I felt like the floor was looking a little bit bland. And see if it's the perfect size. It's very cute. <laughs> it's actually the perfect size for her nursery because the nursery isn't big. And I love it. I feel like it's really added something to this room that was missing. I picked it up from H&M Home. Should we quickly tidy up? Yeah, yeah. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Hi, say hi. I tried to get into it earlier. Oh, there we go. She's doing it now. You're doing it now. This is the one. the one I'm going for today. Alright guys, so we are actually going to head out today. And before we do that, I would like to cook now. So that when I come home, I don't have to stress about it. And it's all out of the way, ready for us to open our fast later. I'm so excited because my life will be so much easier cooking today. Because I'm going to make my meal today with HelloFresh. You guys know I'm such a huge, huge, huge fan of HelloFresh and we've used them for ages. I think it's coming up to almost a year. I'm not sure. Must be. I'm sure it's been almost a year now that we've been using HelloFresh and it's just completely changed like cooking for us. For example, I cook more often when we get HelloFresh. <laughs> And Marcus prefers that. Part of the video is kindly sponsored by HelloFresh. And honestly, I'm so chuffed about it because it's just a company that I genuinely love so much. The whole concept, how much easier it makes my life. It's just everything I can ask for and more. And whilst Mia is settled, it's the perfect time for me to go ahead, cook, get everything out of the way. So I don't have to worry about it later because I will be running around as usual today. I decided to go for meal number 18 today uh, as you can see i've upgraded ourselves now two three people because our little person eats now and it's just nice because she actually really enjoys the meals that we cook for her and she eats a lot of the food that we do and i find a lot of these recipes are so easy and fit perfectly that even Mia loves them because of how tasty they are. So before I crack on, I'm just going to show you the other meals that we selected for this week. So this is the one that I'm going for today. It's the smoky Mexican style bean stew with roasted peppers, feta and tortilla chips. I mean guys, how tasty do these recipes sound like you have no idea this is completely transformed like just my way of thinking as well because I now put bits together that I would never have thought of before or use ingredients that I'd have been too scared to use in the past. But what we've also got to look forward to this week is creamy spice lentil curry. That's gonna be a favorite of mine because I'm such a big lentil fan. And I've tried other lentil recipes from HelloFresh before. And when I do, you guys always ask me on Instagram, what are you cooking? I'm like, it's a HelloFresh recipe. Because I save all the recipe cards and I like to use them later as well. It's just, because these meals, literally, this, that one takes 20 minutes. I mean, you can't ask for more. And then we've also got mushroom and aubergine linguine, um, which I love the linguines. And I think I mentioned you guys, I'd really want to start learning how to cook mushrooms and eat them and Marcus is not down for that but Marcus you know he can pick his mushrooms out if he wants this one's got with walnuts and chives and see I would I would be too afraid to use walnuts in a day-to-day -day basis in my food and also we've got a cinnamon apple crumble I don't know if we're making that today but Marcus is very excited about that one as well I'm just gonna go ahead and get all of my ingredients prepped uh, just as I do that I literally just want to tell you guys once again because you've heard me bang on about it before in like my other vlogs just about how much this fits like our lifestyle doesn't it how many times have you guys heard me in the last weeks <laughs> saying i don't know what we're having tonight i don't know what we're having tonight and honestly with mia being as active as she is right now we don't even have time to think about what we're cooking like and that's why we're always on repeat whereas with hello fresh we don't have to think about it you've got new recipes you've got you know you're trying a new meal tonight and you're not eating the same old food again and again and it just works beautifully for us and i'm sure we're not alone when it comes to having a fridge clear out which we've done the other day as well recently mm. and then it's uh it's always my fault somehow 
pulls out, oh, we didn't eat this, we didn't eat that, that's gone out of date, this has gone out of date, and all the things that you buy that go in meals that you think is a great idea when you go into the shop, but then you forget that you have it, whereas you've got all your ingredients in these bags. And they're fresh so you, as well. So, so you know when you're pulling this out of the fridge, right, this is my meal, I've got this for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or I've got this for X, Y, and Z dates. Yeah. And you don't have that overflow of unnecessary food items that end up going out of date and... Yeah, literally one thing, and you guys have witnessed this on the vlogs that we are so bad for, is that going to the shops and buying things that we do not need, like food, just out of pure, just greed, I think, and You're we don't right. need it. So because everything is freshly packed for you and it's just the ingredients you need, it just means there's fewer trips to the supermarket because you guys know there's one point where I felt like I was at the supermarket every single day and it's not good, it's not good for me. With this, I don't have to visit the supermarket as often and I've got everything in the fridge ready to go. Okay guys, I have all of my main fresh ingredients laid out and I'm gonna go ahead and start popping this together. But this is what I love about the recipe cards, are literally so simple and easy to follow and everything's just laid out. So when Marcus says you only cook when you do this, it's basically because it's a step-by-step -step guide on what I need to do and it's very, very simple. They are quick recipes. You can get recipes that are from like 20 minutes to like 60 minutes and it's just no time at all because when I cook, if I'm cooking something else, it just takes me forever and I hate it and that's why I tend to avoid it. I've also learned so many valuable cooking skills um, just in terms like there's different techniques that you can use and if I can do it, honestly, anyone can. We're definitely going with this one though. Marcus and I were just umming and ahhing just then because there's so many recipes to choose from. I only have a few here. However, they literally have like 36 recipes for you to choose from every week. I think we're definitely sticking with this one because I'm not going to change my mind again because I'll sat here for like five minutes umming and ahhing. So another thing that I love about HelloFresh is because everything is perfectly portioned then there's very little waste when I'm cooking and everything it is the perfect portion size you guys know I have such an issue with portion control I was just saying to Marcus I just really want to get the cooking out of the way today so I don't have to worry about it later because I've got a feeling that we'll be running late as usual another thing that I really rate about HelloFresh is that a lot of their produce is sourced from British farmers where it can be so you know a lot of the produce that you get is a lot more local which is always a nice a sort of feeling that you are sort of you know helping out the local farmers and so is yeah it's, it's just that little bit more of a homely feel to it guys i can't even tell you how incredible my kitchen smells right now Ooh, whilst i'm doing this let me quickly show you guys my little <laughs> recipe card um the bundle that I have I said I'm a little bit of a HelloFresh fan and I've got a uh, stack of cards from all of my previous deliveries and I do just refer back to these guys because I love the recipe so much this one I've made quite a few times and you've seen it on my Instagram stories whenever I make it always get DMs what is it what is it you're cooking and I tell you guys HelloFresh recipe and I know that's how I know so many of you are fans because you're like oh yeah we've had that before I think I've got to say that's my favorite and we've got like some stir fry and honestly I've got my own little cookbook coming on because oh this one the lent roasted veg and lentil jumble I make that on a regular basis just whilst my food is cooking there I just want to let you guys know that you can also pre-order your lunch boxes so this is something that I'm gonna do because you guys have heard me whinge before in the vlogs I didn't cook was because Marcus sometimes wouldn't eat what I cooked but these are perfect for one person the box of, boxes will be available in June but there's no cooking required they've got so many delicious sandwich recipes salad recipes great for that quick bite at lunch if you're working from home still or if you're just before you head on out and that's going to be available for you to order from, from May for your box in June and that's something that I'm going to go ahead and get my order placed in for. HelloFresh have actually kindly given me a discount code to share with you guys. It's irisa 50 it gets you 50% off your first box and then 35% off your next three boxes. So it's literally the perfect time to try it. Go ahead, I'll leave the link in the description box, click on there order your box and you will see exactly what I'm on about you'll see the variety of food on there you'll see like different recipes that'll suit your lifestyle whether you've got a bit longer to cook there's a long recipes for 60 minutes if you're short on time like I am you can go for tw the 20 minute recipes there's vegetarian options there's you know options for meat fish whatever it is and there's just so much there 
massive range to suit everyone and you'll be able to get yourself a little discount as well with my code and um, I'll leave the details down below in the description box so I'd highly say you guys need to try it. I know so many of you are already fans but if you've not tried it yet you need to and let me know what you think let me know what recipes you end up going for I'm excited for you guys to try HelloFresh and you'll know exactly why I always go on about it I'm just going to add my beans in you guys I can't wait to open my fast and eat this tonight but that cook for a little bit longer right guys I am all done hold on I feel like I need your grand reveal so Marcus are you ready for this Marcus always thinks I can never make it look like the recipe cards I'm sorry HelloFresh I love you guys but honestly I think mine looks better because look at this uh. You came down and says it smells so good, didn't you? It does smell nice. As it, soon as I came down, I said this smells good. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and just... I know I'm not eating it yet, you guys, but presentation is everything. And put a little lime wedge on there. Sprinkle a couple of spring... I love my spring onions, Marcus. There's a little left for you then. Sprinkle the fur. Huh? Sprinkle the fur. Oh, Crumble it. Crumbling it. Crumble. I'm crumbling it. Can we then make the apple crumble? Oh yeah, there's that. Um, I can't believe the apple crumble. I know it sounds stupid because everything's fresh. But it's actual apples. You have to make it from scratch. That's amazing. Oh my god. Okay, it's going to be mine because I've gone overboard with better. Let's save a bit better. better for later. Yeah, I was thinking that. Oh my god. I just want to like, come on, even it out. You said presentations, everything, and you've put it all in one spot. Yes, everything. Look. And get the angle in for the people to see it properly. You should know better. You've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> The meals can literally cost from £3.25, I think it is, per person. So when it just comes to it being so sustainable, especially with like the less waste that you get because everything's portioned out and you're not discarding as much and I hate food waste, it is just like the all-round perfect package. As I mentioned, guys, I've got a discount code for you. Irisa50 gets you 50% off your first box and 35% off your next three boxes. So... You need to try it go ahead use my code and honestly you will fall in love with hellofresh just as we have and i'm so excited for this and now we need to get ready to head out oh is papa taking his time taking his time say so bye <laughs> going out <laughs> taking the new babies out for spinning home sense so guys, my sister has agreed to have Mia for us whilst Marcus and I go and look at the shops. But really, I think we're only going to one shop, aren't we? I think we are literally just going to HomeSense, but we, I don't know, just thought we'll leave her at my sister's for a bit so we can mooch around nice and calmly. The idea was to get out today because the sun was out and I know you guys say I'm on repeat a lot of the times, but that's my life on repeat and we missed it because we were indoors, but nonetheless we're gonna try and make the most of it this evening because it'll get dark till like a couple of hours anyway so we should be all right sorry guys i just thought i'd quickly catch up with you in the car as well sorry for being absent for the last couple of days not really something that i want to get into right now either but and all is as well as it can be and yeah i'm happy to be back and finishing off the vlogs with you all because i've got a lot going on at the minute i think i'm just gonna go ahead and leave this will be the last of the ramadan vlogs however i will then catch up with you guys again on like sundays and wednesdays as i normally do and yeah we'll be going back to routine now even though ramadan's not technically over but i just feel like that's what's best for me to do right now the reason that we're actually heading out is because mia's toys are all over in the living room at the moment and there is just chaos all the time and it's fine that's fine but when she's not playing with them they're just an eyesore in like the corner not even in the corner of the living room they're just there aren't they and i originally bought her a little toy basket to keep her toys in but i think i underestimated how many toys you end up with when you have a baby so the plan so that is toy basket was big enough at the time yeah but we're also gonna we're gonna go through stuff that she doesn't use anymore and just give them to charity yeah rather so than keep them and let them build up because we know that this stuff that we want to get her and stuff that family members yeah. want to get her for a birthday yeah because the birthday is coming up and obviously we're we've not told like we've not gone crazy we don't expect like lots of gifts but we're not family or like even if you tell them to hold off she'll still end up getting quite a lot of toys because it is her first birthday and we're gonna actually donate her we're gonna go through her old toys and donate them and then excuse me 
and we're gonna go ahead and put just all of our new toys in like a trunk but yeah that basket that was once enough is now not enough so it needs to be upgraded and they have like quite good large baskets in home sense that i've seen before so i hope they have them this time because it's one of those things where if you see them once and you go again you probably won't see it but i'm hoping that they've got some stocking of some baskets that we can pick up i actually ordered mia her kitchen today for her birthday so for her birthday it's like one so i keep yawning for one big present i wanted to get her one of the scandy kitchens and i got it from scandy bone and i just think it's gonna be so cute i think i'm more excited about it than she will be or that she'll probably play with it'll be me pretending to cook my meals there marcus <laughs> i ordered it in like a minute green color marcus was like you shouldn't have bought that because she'll not play with it i would have got no room but i will no, make room will play with it but she she'll also play plays with her actual kitchen utensils so you might as well just give her a big spoon and Spatula yeah, but she can pretend that I think, especially when she gets to like two, three, she'll she'll enjoy it more. And maybe in six months, you'll yeah. Yeah, and to be stand yeah, and you blink in six months, it'll be gone anyway. So I'm so excited! I can't wait to set that up for. I'm not gonna set it up for it. Oh, I'll be, I might set it up for it straight away because it's not like she'll know on her birthday that she's opening that present. But we'll wait and see. Maybe I'll wrap it and make it look nice. But that'll literally just be a novelty, if anything. So I ordered that and I can't wait for that to come. So guys, we actually have Mia with us. We didn't end up dropping her off because she fell asleep in the back of the car. So I felt guilty to wake up and disturb it even though she's napping at the wrong time, but we'll deal with it. We brought memes with us because we felt guilty for her leaving her because she fell asleep. Oh, so we're just heading towards the basket. Oh, Marcus, you know what we do need? Because it bugs me every single night and I only remember when I get down for bed is curtains for the bedroom. Like, so just some linen ones because that light, we have got a light bang on outside our bedroom window, a street light, and it just, oh, it's shit. Morning, morning, just until it's out. No, You're but honestly, at night, night time, it just, I do not get to sleep at all because it's always light. It's been like that for ages. Huh? Yeah, also because of her, but I can't see where's all the curtains, the bedding's there. But here's the basket section that I wanted, so I need to try and find a basket of the right size. See Marcus, I was thinking like literally something like this, it's like a trunk and it's quite big, but it'll fit perfectly in that section and just literally have that there. Like I think ah. like, that might be the perfect one. Let's have all of Mia's toys. Oh, they are like these little round ones. Then you'll be able to see all of it on top, won't you? Whereas with this, it'll be hidden. I think this is literally perfect. This is actually what I was looking for. Like a little trunk. Like a little toy chest. A wicker one. Well, I was getting this one then, yeah? <laughs> Do it. <laughs> my mum papa forgot memes as caught so she's all wrapped up with papa i'm gonna quickly go grab some bubble tea for iftar bubble tea bubble tea i don't know i think bubble's different and bubble's different i don't know someone correct us hey memes so cozy actually so cold you guys very deceiving this weather i'm glad because i had a coat in my car which i didn't think i would have but luckily i did so i had to even put that on because it's freezing i think when we get back we'll be home just in time for iftar to open our fast which will be good because it's one of those where you don't have to sit around waiting at home and I don't have to rush on and prep because I've already cooked. So guys, we are just going to head back home now. We had a successful trip. We got our little bobo tea and we got a little walk-in. Well, I said a little walk-in. It was actually to the bobo tea and then back to the car. 
and we're gonna have to get home and literally as soon as we get home uh, it'll be time for us to open our fast so we need to get a groove on marcus and good job we all need to warm up the food it's actually quite nice because town is actually really quiet i mean i keep forgetting this a wednesday night but it is quiet and thank god i had another coat in the car because it was cold and we had to wrap, take, up, take turns and wrapping me up oh. start driving right time to get home and get the come on time to go whoop, whoop. we're going we're going we're going skiing Whee. Whee. Okay, it's not She's, the wee I was yeah. hoping for. She'll be hungry now Whee. as well and fully tired, so it's gonna be a, a very TV car ride home now. So guys, I was gonna show you the before and after. Marcus was a little bit eager. So he's put me his toys in here along with these balls and these need to go into the garage because I think even you said Marcus they've taken up like 90% of this trunk so yeah we need to take he was too eager because if he'd listened he'd have known that I wanted to take these out and put them into the garage because they're just going to like a little ball pit but for now it's fine because once I close that once the, those balls are out all of this will fit in there maybe not the trolley it might do actually and then it'll be nice it'll be nice neatly tucked away and it actually goes this sheep needs to go in the bin it's just all nice and away and i actually think the basket looks really nice there as well which i'll let me show you what it should, should look like one second so let's pretend that marcus nearest did this properly i blame marcus and all the toys were where they should be that's what it looked like and i actually think that's very nice very pleasant and it's not some massive toy chest that you know has multi colors on it quite goes with the living room and i really like it so i'm glad we literally picked it up that was the last basket there and it was actually exactly what i had envisioned that i'd want in this area so i'm very very pleased with it and can't wait to actually organize it probably well, not organize it but i mean take the bits out because <laughs> it's a kid's toy thing it'll never stay organized but yeah, let me know what you think. Right, guys, we are... Marcus, it's very dark in here. You just come in and turn all the lights off. We are very full and very much ready to hit the sack. Not hit the bed. <laughs> it sounds a bit weird saying sack, doesn't it? That's what people say, isn't it? Hit the hay. Hit the sack. What's, sack. what's another term? Come to sleep. Got to say it. And then while the there's... Bed. Yeah, there's that. Marcus had to quickly nip to Tesco because, well, we sorted our own food out. We've got to sort the cat's food out, bless them, so they're eating quite late. Um, and Mia's asleep. I need a full night's sleep tonight. Please, Mia. I pray. Last night she wasn't too bad, was she, Marcus? Mm. It's all right last night. I think she is, like, she she wasn't too well uh, prior to this. So we'd uh, just been given a shed a bit of a, like, a runny cold. But she's been a lot better today and yesterday, so that's why we decided to take her out. And then tomorrow is just going to be such a non-stop day for Marcus and I. We tried to convince my sister to come and, like, stay so she can watch Mia. And she's like, no. I was like, oh, family. The cats are fed now, so they've stopped, well, stopped giving us attention. Does anyone else's pets do that? Like, whether you have cats or dogs or whatever, when they need feeding, they will literally be your best friend. The rest of the day, we don't even see them, do we, Marcus? <laughs> literally bedtime alaska is the cuddliest cat at bedtime she'll come and she'll like lay next to me she loves like being stroked and cuddled for ages but then Fiji, Fiji. She's, put, she's, she's putting you to sleep so she knows she can go and mess around and do whatever she wants to do. <laughs> no that's fiji fiji is only your best friend when you take a nap in the day or if you're laying down she loves to come and lay down on you or if um early in the morning if you you're feeding her later than when she wants to be eaten she will come and just like purr and do all over you and oh and then tokyo yeah we just see her as and when she pleases <laughs> being the timid little cat that she is but other than that once they've got what they want no nope, we never we never see them just for cuddles but yeah that, that was it really i'm gonna go have a look at marcus we need to pick this stuff up you know if we do ourselves like dirty and we just don't pick up and clean up after ourselves tonight we'll regret it in the morning that's just one of the things where you just guaranteed to regret it for sure. You're gonna regret it. That's my interest. 
to be honest, I'm not no, interested. No, I'm, I'm glad no, you've no, said no, that. <laughs> I'd rather suffer in the morning. So guys, probably one of the shorter vlogs, but I'm gonna leave it there because I literally do have to get to bed. I did not even realise what time it was. And it's just one of those things where I'd rather come back to you guys. Like I said, this will be one of the last... Um, I don't know, if, if I pick up the camera again, I may see you again. If not, this will be like the last Ramadan vlog because I've just got a lot going on at the moment and I'd rather come to you like fresh after Ramadan on the Wednesdays and Sundays and just we pick up from where we left off. But yeah, we're gonna get to bed now. Um, Just before I go, don't forget, I'll leave the discount code for HelloFresh down below in the link box. You definitely need to try it. Let me know what recipes you end up trying and which ones you like because I always like because I've done this with quite a few of you guys that DM me you tell me which recipes you've tried and I know to pick that one next time as well because uh, there is just so much variety it's always hard to like sometimes I st sit there going mm, which one do I want <laughs> so uh, I definitely appreciate that and yeah I leave the discount definitely try it check it out and you will literally see exactly what I'm on about of how convenient it is and just changes the game for you all together. Uh, Marcus, do you have any wise words to end this vlog on? <laughs> wise words indeed. Um. Not a man of many words, Marcus. <laughs> so guys, I hope you all make the most of the last few days left of Ramadan. And that it's gone well for you and you've learnt a lot from it um, and yeah I hope you all really sincerely take care of yourselves and I'll catch up with you soon and I've missed you all and I can't wait to get some routine back into my life so I'll catch up with you guys soon bye